those mysterious cosmic objects with immense gravitational energy are thought to eventually disappear. The name of this phenomenon, Hawking radiation, honors the great physicist Stephen Hawking. Hawking suggested that the spontaneous production and annihilation of pairs of particles must take place close to the event horizon, which is the region where there is no escape from the gravitational pull of the black hole. He did this by combining quantum physics and Einstein's theory of gravity. The particle and its antiparticle are formed in the quantum field for a very brief period of time, but sometimes a particle can fall into the black hole and the other particle can escape Hawking radiation. According to Hawking, this could eventually lead black holes to disappear. The findings, however, imply that other large objects besides black holes may also evaporate because of a related radiation process. Researchers at Radboud University re-examined this procedure in a new study to determine whether or not the existence of the event horizon is essential. To investigate what happens to the particles which are produced in the vicinity of the black holes, they integrated methods from physics, astronomy, and mathematics. The study demonstrated that particles can be produced well beyond this boundary as well. It is shown that there is a new type of radiation in addition to the well-known Hawking radiation. This study disproves the notion that radiation cannot occur without the event horizon, which is previously believed to be essential. That indicates that there's also this type of radiation coming from massive things in the universe without an event horizon, such as the remains of dead stars. And that would eventually result in the cosmos dissipating after a very long period of time, much like black holes. This modifies our understanding of Hawking radiation and our outlook on the cosmos and and its future. Who knows what will be left in the universe after millions of years? Nothing?